I'll move on now with the presentation. And again, um, we're talking about building versus buying. And as I, as I was just mentioning to uh, Greg and Kim who arrived earlier, um, it's, it's interesting to see the amount of people that are looking at buying, not just uh, looking at um, building, not buying, because the, the demographics I thought would be you know, people that are moving up, they want a larger home, um, that they wouldn't be first home buyers. Um, they would be, you know, people that are, you know, maybe downsizing. I thought that that really would be the market, but actually, uh, in reality, it's not. Everybody across the spectrum, I think, are, are beginning to realize that um, building isn't something that's just so out there. Like, it's, it's actually a very well thought out process. And, um, and I think that's why it's becoming so popular these days. Now, coupling that, that information is, is the historically low interest rates. And we're going to go through some of those numbers. Again, I'm not a mathematician, but, um, but certainly we can take a look at some examples. We'll talk a little bit about equity, uh, building equity in your home, um, which, is, which is, should be on, you know, on the top of minds of everyone here. Now, and, and the reason why people are looking at building is, is because the cost of resale homes are so high right now. A lot of people <laughs> feel that they can build a home for the same price as a resale home. And, and really, it's, it's true. You can. And, and what's helping us is, is, of course, the interest rates and that North Bay has seen a 27% increase since uh, 2008, or 2009, rather, in housing prices. Uh, flexibility of design. So... Whether you, if it, people typically when they buy a house, they always go undergo some renovations. Um, this is where it gets pretty scary because you don't know what's behind the walls. So therefore, they're getting, sometimes they get in over their heads, sometimes you find new problems, whether it's a structural problem, whether it's plumbing, electrical. Uh, you typically, the typical um, uh, purchaser of a resale home will spend more money on a renovation than they expect to. Now, another uh, important point is alternative energy. This is something that, um, that I thought that more people would be doing, investigating more, you know, whether it's geothermal, solar, you know, even actually having the components ready, you know, but it's not quite there yet. And it's because maybe the technology is not there yet either. I don't think solar panels are really where, where they need to be yet. And, but there are some exciting news about geothermal products that are just coming out into the marketplace that... Um, I will share with you in another um, in another seminar series. So okay, so here I am. I'm just going to uh, talk about the facts. So the facts of resale homes. Um, this came from CMHC. 42% uh, of the resale homes are in need of repair. 12% uh, are in need of major repair, and 29% um, minor repair. But the, the majority of these people that are doing renovations, um, they are preparing to sell their home. Now, what was interesting is that out of the 74%, the reason they are selling, is, and only 10% is because they need more space. So that means that 90% of the people are actually downsizing, and they want to downsize. And then 29% want to make it more energy efficient. And I think that push for energy efficiency comes from all of the um, companies out there that are, are, are encouraging, and the government, of course, encouraging energy efficiency in our homes. Okay, the facts. So um, why, why build new? Um, because right now the property uh, values have increased in, in Ontario by 17.9, in North Bay, 23%. Huge, huge number. And no one really knows why. Uh, does anybody know why the North Bay market's so fueled, you know, uh, from the resale, or resale value? N I haven't met anyone who really knows, and, and I don't think... Um, there really isn't any, any, any reason for it. I think uh, it would be interesting to know. <laughs> I just don't know the answer. And, and the real estate agents I talk to don't know either. Okay, so let's just go through the actual cost. Now, we're, I'm taking the example of a detached home. This is a, a 1,200 square foot bungalow. Um, and this is North Bay value. Um, in 2008, based on uh, uh, Royal LePage, they, they, they said that the average home in 2008 was 225,000, the average selling price. In 2011, jumped to 263,250. So that's huge. That um, and of course that's last year, last year's numbers. But the average home um, 
the age of the home was, the average sale was 1971. Um, and if we compare the new cons average new construction cost for a home, and of course this just depends on, you know, how big you want it, our, our range is anywhere from 180 to 264. So it's really falling in that, you know, in that range, making it affordable to be able to design your own home and why not if, if we're comparing apples to apples. So here are the trends for our business. Um, the average home size that we're uh, building is, is anywhere between 1,100 and 1,500 square feet. 94% uh, 94, 94 of our uh, customers are building on a basement. And, and that's quite interesting too because in northern, well, northern Ontario, North Bay and surrounding areas, you know, there's difficulty with rock, you know, difficulty with uh, various soil conditions. You have, you know, Mattawa Conservation Authority, um, you know, I mean, the environmentalists, like it, it's just, it, it gets very, very difficult um, to build and let alone on, uh, on perfect soil conditions, but they are investing. 47% uh, uh, of the customers are building two bedroom homes. That's a bit of a shocker. Everybody thinks that everybody's building a three bedroom, two bathroom home. That's not the case anymore. So coupling that, that statistic with the basement, you can see that there's, people are building the two story or two bedroom homes, but they're building one in the basement and then having to rough in in the basement as well. So yes, and again, another su surprising statistic to me is that 45% of these customers built one, on, only one bathroom in the main floor. So now you're seeing a shift and going back to the downsizing um, statistic, it, it really follows in line with what the market's doing. 65% um, of the customers are heating with propane and gas. Uh, so it's a forced air system. That's what people are using. The 18% still using electric. That is shocking. You know, there's, there's different sources of electric, but forced air electric. Uh, and only 8% of our customers using alternative energy. So that um, is a little surprising. The, the rest of the percentage, which is about eight again, maybe about eight to 12, they're, they're going with the outdoor wood furnace, you know, uh, and, and that system. And 28% <clears throat> of the customers are install, installing in-floor heating systems. Is anybody familiar with that system? Have you heard of it? Does anybody not know what the in-floor heating system is or does anyone want to know? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So that's that's in the typically in the basement. So we run our, our the, the tubes and and you run water and it's, it's so it's a water system and then you're heating the floor and the and the hot air rises. So it's a very efficient system that's usually run on a boiler system and that's usually heated by propane typically in or or gas. Okay. So now we get into the money. Um, as, as I mentioned, interest rates being at a historical low, good time to invest. Um, right now, based on the case popular, we have a 2.99 five-year term. Pretty good. Uh, probably uh, one of the better rates out there. I don't know anybody who's getting less. But I have a question. Does anybody rent? Does anybody rent currently? No? So everybody owns their own home? Okay, who's, who lives in North Bay? Okay, so, all right, three, and then everybody else lives, where do you, Redbridge, Red Bridge? okay, <coughs> Calendar, Corbiel. Corbiel, okay, so we're all more, where do you live, Powassan, right, okay, so, yeah, so you're, we're all kind of more in the, in the outlying areas, um, and that's interesting, because a lot, that, that seems to be the trend again, you know, not many people living in North Bay, more people are, or they're living in North Bay, looking to, to move outside of North Bay. Is that the, uh, the case for you? For no. no? Okay, so you're looking to p potentially, uh, are you in the market to build or? I'm just here to learn. To learn? Oh, okay, well that's great. Okay, well I was just curious because um, I'm always curious to know, and, and how about yourself? I got a cottage lot there I'm gonna develop. Oh, okay, so this is out of town again. No, it's in city limits. Oh, city limits, okay. Oh really? Nice. Wow. That's uh, there. Those lots are hard to find. Some of them are, yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. So, but 
the trend is there to, to, to really move out of city proper and a couple of reasons for that. Um, the building permits are about 14,000 right now um, versus somewhere out, outskirts. Um, actually in, in where you're looking is, is about 8,000 because you don't have sewer and water. Right. So, but still very expensive. You go to, now Calendar's not much better right now because Calendar's charging, uh, geez, I just uh, paid for a building permit. What was it? $6,000 in, in new development fees. That applies as of October the 12th of this year. They've decided that they are going to um, institute a new development fee to anyone who is tearing down and rebuilding or not. They're still, there's, they're impl implementing a $6,000 fee. Is that the sewer and water hookup? No. That, no. Rural or, that's right. So. You already own the lot. And you already own the lot. You already own the lot. Exactly. We got stuck um, just recently. We're building uh, on Main Street and Calendar, and it, it was a, an infill. So we tore down an old house, and then we were building a, a semi-detached there. And it was we just found out about the change in the in the bylaw, and I and it, it typically takes about ten days for you to get a building permit, and we just got you know we just got our building permit accepted, or else we would have been stuck with that extra fee for tearing down a house and rebuilding. Now, anywhere in North Bay, if you have a re rebuild, they don't charge you the development fee, which is a big, large chunk. The, I think uh, North Bay charges 9000 But um, So $6,000 for calendar is steep. And that doesn't matter if you're rural or right downtown. So those are some things to consider budgeting for, for sure. So. So what am I reading when I went into the East Harris Township when it said $100 permit for demolition and 400 for building? So what is that to talk about? Well, aren't you still in... Are, no, are, oh, Township. so you're East Ferris. Sorry, you're right. Okay. And um, that's right on their website. Okay, yes, $100 fee for demolition. demolition. Yeah, and then you are not... Uh, East, Ferris not uh, East Ferris is not subject to um, a new development fee yet. Well, I think, well, everybody's going in that direction. They're going to sta stage it in, like they're going to, you know, they, they, I think, sorry, calendar is not even at the full, it's at 75% right now, as of this year. Next year, they're 100%. Um, so, yeah, so it's going to be phased in, but still pretty drastic phase in. So, but no, I mean, East Ferris um, is going to be next. Like they're looking at, um, you know, wanting to increase their tax base and everybody's talking about it. So, Powassan, still good. You know, um, no big changes in Powassan. Uh, now, Chisholm, is anyone building in Chisholm or thinking about it or has land there? That's, Chisholm is, uh, has a high tax rate for some reason. Property taxes are high in Chisholm and they're very, and, and it's further out than, most municipalities so so those are th some things to think about you know as you're looking for places to to uh, to build <laughs>